Neither is oh like our Lord. There is Let's continue to pray. Let's continue to thank him. This is January 2021. New variations in coronavirus. Yet we have prevailed. Not because of what we are or what we have, but because we have a covering. We, have, we are under a comprehensive insurance. We have been bought with a precious blood. So here we are. Let's continue to thank him. Let's thank God for all that he has done. Ah, Father, 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 we thank you. Just you. Bless your holy name. Mm. For our lives are not even our own. You hold us in your hands and you extend our lives. Every moment that we live, you extend it for us, Lord. Not unto us, not because of whatever we have or whatever we have, we have done. Not because we are righteous, no, not at all. Not because we can just assess it or afford it, but by your mercy and your grace, by your own divine. Covering from the walls of the enemy, covering from the dirty fury, from the fury, death. Ah, you have protected us and brought us this far, Lord. All that we know, like our God, and only there one language none. that we understand. The Lord, there is none. Is there is none. Rise up in praise and adoration. that can be compared to your holy name. You. Neither is there anyone you like you. By your mercy, by your kindness, where we have been, Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your holy name. Father, we exalt you and we glorify you. Ah. There is none like you. Ade de ya ma 
Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes you get emotional when you cast your minds and you see what God is doing in your life, what he's doing in the life of all loved ones. And it gets to a point when you feel that you cannot even worship him enough. You cannot even thank him enough. This God we serve is too good. If you have to be passionate about this thing, it should be the love of God. If you have to be committed to anything, it has to be the things of God. If you have to be emotional about everything, it's not about relationships or job or anything. It's about the things and the doings of God. Our God is too good. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Amen. Ah, Amen. This is one of the nights, this is one of the days that you can't just have enough of you. At mm. least I'm going to share an exhortation. And um, sorry. Dr. Ade, I'm having service. I'll call you afterwards, please. Um, so I'll pray. God has instructed me to pray for individuals on the platform today, mm -hmm. and I'll do that. Even if you are 200, I'll do that. So iPhone, if it's possible, rename yourself. Let me have your name. Success. Is that Mr. Zuma? Success. The one who is using the name success, please put your name, at least your first name there. iPhone, please put at least your first name there. Immediately after the exhortation, I'll be praying for people. Galaxy S5 New. Ma, 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 do. Ma, Christabel. Hello. Set money you should Galaxy S5. No. Hello, money you Galaxy S5. So. Okay, that's yeah, fine. I for her, so. for her I, I know. Yeah. Uh, the I first so. name is a. The first Agnes. name is a. Agnes. Yes, mommy Agnes. Yeah, thank yeah. you. I'm sure she's at work. So, but iPhone and success, please name home. yourself. Okay. Thank you. Sandra, God bless you so much. Psalm Sorry, 91. Uh, how do we do the naming? Go down. Are you using your phone? No, my phone could not connect. You have to re re download on the laptop. Good. So go to participants down the screen. Okay. Click on. You see your name? No, down there. I have not seen my name. Because success is there. You see success. If you click participants. Uh, okay, if I click participant. Yes. Uh, if I click, I see success. So that is you. So go to right, go to where you have the microphone and the and the video icon. Just put your cursor there. On the microphone or the video icon? Yes, put your cursor there. Okay. You see more. You see more. more on the mute and seeing. more. There are two things. Mute and more. Click when you put your cursor there. You see two things. Mute and then more. Have you seen the list of participants? Okay, I know it's you at least. So later on, you 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 learn how to. But at least I know it's you. So I'll call your name. Um, iPhone. I don't have. I don't know the person who is using iPhone, but hopefully the person will change as we go on. Psalm 91. Before Christmas, there's a psalm we used, and then I told you by the leading of the Holy Spirit, we shall start the year with it, but we didn't. This is the night. This is the night that the Holy Spirit has led us. 
to Psalm 91 again. I'm reading from the New King James Version. And the title is Safety of Abiding in the Presence of God. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I, I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the faller and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings shall you take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall befall thee, you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent. You shall the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show my salvation. Amen. 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 I know his name. His name is Jesus. Amen. I know his name. His name is Jesus Christ. He is the King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords. Lord of Lords. I know his name. His name is Jesus. He's the King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords. I know his name. His name is Jesus. I know his name. Oh, yeah, 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 o
Thank you. God bless you. I know the fire. Amen. Thank you. Amen. He who dwells in the sacred, secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Tonight, my prayer for you and everything about you mm. is that nothing mm. and no one, mm. no situation mm. should move you from the shadow of the almighty God. Mm -hmm. I pray that mm -hmm. in all your doings and all your dwell and, and all your dealings, mm -hmm. you will crave mm -hmm. you dwell in the secret place of the most high. Yes. Yeah. Because where we call it a secret place because the devil cannot come there. We call it a secret place because poverty cannot locate you there. We call it a secret place because premature death and sicknesses cannot locate you there. Mm. Sometimes we chase the things of the world. Mm. We chase contrast. We chase money. That is not wrong. As mm. I'm sitting here, my eyes are following some proposals, some grants for them to go through so that my salary will be at ease a bit so that I can continue to finance the things of God and help mm. other people mm. around me. Get property. It's not wrong. But when those things take our heart from God, that is where we have left the secret place. So in all our dealings and in all our doings, in the search for a partner, in the search for whatever, our heart should never depart from God. Because when your heart departs, it means that you have left the secret place. And where you are going that you think that is where you get your peace, your wealth, Everything, your dream job, your dream family, your dream car, you are now venturing into a place without God's shadow over you. So in as much as we dream for all those things, let eternity be our, our, our mark, our ultimate prize. Mm -hmm. And let's also know that 
we can still be in the secret place of the Most High and attain everything that we, we, God wants us to attain. So I told you two years ago, I went to my dean. She was then acting dean and HOB, and I told the man, God is saying this year, he's going to prove to the world that people can be truthful to him and still reign here on earth. I said that in the first part of the year, I didn't know what was God meant. I didn't know I was part of that promise. By the end of the year, I was acting HOD. She had been moved to substantive gene. By the end of the year, I had received promotion at my workplace, something that had dragged for almost a year. So when I say some of these things, I am a living testimony. Yes. God said, people can worship me truthfully and still reign on earth. So people of God, let's crave to abide under his shadow. I will say of the Lord, he's my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I will trust. Now when you and get better trust, you know, people will fail us. I always use the case of His Excellency Lee at um Prime Queen, the late Vice President Rollins. You see, the day they were dying. They had thousands of CVs that they were going to connect people to get jobs, to travel, to get some financial help from somewhere. But because they do not control their lives, people trusted in them that this man has never disappointed. Girl, uh, uh, death disappointed them. So we cannot continue to trust politicians, CEOs, pastors, prophets, and not trust God. For some of us, when God tells us not to go, and our prophet tells us to go, we will go, because we trust our prophets more than God. But people of God, ultimate trust is in God. I will say of the Lord, he's my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the faller and from the perilous pestilence. If you don't believe this, that he's the only one who can deliver you, look at Job. Even his wife, the wife of his youth, told him, why don't you curse your God and die? When Job was enjoying, I'm sure the woman was saying, our God. But when things became tough, she stepped aside and said, why don't you curse your God and die? When Elijah, Elisha was walking with Gehazi and Gehazi saw the troops of enemies, his heart was not at peace. But Elisha trusted in God and said, if you knew those who are with us, you will not spend your energy thinking about these ones. My brothers and sisters, my mothers, uncles, I want to tell you that God is the only one who can deliver us if we really trust in him. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the faller, from the perilous pestilence. Even if God has never saved you, we are in corona and you are in a life. Just hours ago, I was talking to a cousin who is a nurse, and we're saying that for most of us, we have been infected with corona, but we don't even see it, and it goes away. I remember last year, one sports lawyer was saying that many people get corona. He mentioned a huge, a significant percent, 75 something or 75 percent or something. They get corona, but they only feel feverish or some headache, or some malaria symptoms, and it goes away. So people don't even know they have been infected before. But trust me, if you don't believe that God shall deliver you from this uh, pestilence, from any pestilence, see the times that we are in. We have lost ministers, we have lost CEOs, we have lost gurus in the medical field. They could not save themselves. But for you and I, because the Lord is our shepherd, 
Jehovah Rohi. Today we are alive. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it, and it is safe. At the mention of this name, sicknesses move. At the mention of this name, Mame Wata runs away. At the mention of this name, the devil himself, himself runs for shelter. His wings are over us. Even for a hen believes that covering his children is, 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 is chicken with, with, with what do you call it? His wings are protective enough. How much more this God who has no beginning and an end? You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. You see, this is talking about the times. If it's darkness, we are covered. If it's light of day, we are covered. So when the witches and the wizards meet at night to do their things, they cannot come near us. When the magicians and the occultists meet during the day and they are throwing missiles, angels are assigned to us. So whether it is noonday or midnight or evening or dawn, twilight, whatever, we are protected because we are dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. A thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Even before Corona, look at the number of accidents. For some of us, you are in air once a year, twice a year or more within country, across countries. For some of you, you are in trains, trams, whatever, every day. You hear of accidents, you hear of disasters, but it has never happened. Even if it happened, you still have your life. Why? Because you are dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. And his promises are assured, ye and amen, that a thousand may fall on your side and ten thousand on the right side. But it shall not come near you. But only with your eyes will you see how God is protecting you. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. In the ancient times, the Israelites were told, the Israelites were told to kill a lamb and mark their doorposts. And the angel of death did not prevail against them, could not even penetrate. But you know what? Tonight, you have not marked your doorpost with any blood of any animal, but the precious, the lamb of the, uh, the blood, the precious blood of the lamb has marked you, has marked your household, has marked everything about you. And so, no plague. And I declare as a servant of the living God, that because you have loved the Lord and given your heart unto him and committed, committed and submitted to him fully, no plague shall come near you. This morning as we were in church worshiping and God was speaking to me, he said, you know what, my son, death will come, sickness will come, poverty will come, situations will come. They will get to your doorpost, door but they shall never be able to enter. 
and that is the meaning of a thousand will fall on your side and ten thousand on your right side, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes will you see the fall of your enemies. This morning, God was just telling me, they will come close, they will come to my doorpost, but they, it can never, death will not penetrate, sickness will not penetrate, disaster will not penetrate. But for me to see that God is with me, you allow it to come close. And I pray that God will give you the same fortitude that when you see this thing coming close, be at peace. Remember in Proverbs, it says, the name of the Lord is a righteous tower. The, 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 the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and it is safe. One day, pet. Obekwe is a bosom where you confono or come bosom. I told you, my, my one of my friends, he says, when he was young, he went to see one of these juju men who was doing something for him. And he gave him some things to bath with in at midnight. Every midnight, you go to the refuse dump and, 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 and do and bath. For how many six days or so? The last day that he went to the man to collect the last portion, he went there and they told him the man is dead. The juju man who is giving power is dead. So they don't have power. Only God has power. We need to trust only in God. For he shall give his angels charge over you. This is the same verse that the devil used to test Jesus. That jump, it is written in the Bible that angels will catch you when you are fallen. They say they will hold you in their hands and you shall not fall to jump. And Jesus said, it is written, thou shalt not test the Lord your God. So once we walk in his light, once we dwell in the secret place, once we do what he wants us to do, Trust me, his angels are always ready to do battles for us. But remember, Jesus himself said, do not tempt the Lord your God. That's why as a Christian, as a believer, I will not go and take poison and drink because God says I will drink and not die. But when somebody puts poison in my food, in my drink, anything, that is where I may drink it unknowingly. And now I will be alive two years, three years, hundred years, and the person will be surprised. And that's where I will tell him that you know what God says, his angels are with me. So the moment you were putting the poison in, that same moment they were taking it out. So we don't go and face danger on our own accord because angels are with us. But when danger comes to us on our ways, when the devil throws danger at us, God will lift us. And that is proof. So please, don't use anointing. Some prophets will say, come and let's challenge. I don't know what they are challenging over. Some prophets will call some fetish priests, challenge. I don't know what they are challenging about. Because when you go like that, we have pastors, especially in America, who come to church with serpents, and most often the serpents bite them, bite them, I mean snakes, and they die because you are tempting the Lord your God. But if you are in your church, if you are praying in your room, in your closet, and the devil sends a venomous snake into your room, God will give you power to overcome it. That is what it means. The angels, one of my friends, a reverend minister, he just went to urinate. By the time he came back to his room, there was a, I have not seen a, a long snake like that physically before in his room at midnight. So he commanded the snake, that was last year, he commanded the snake to lie still because his children were lying on the floor and the snake was in the middle of them. Long snake, just five minutes going to me and this had happened. He commanded the snake to lie still and went outside to bring a stick and killed the snake because angels of God were at work. Hallelujah. 
So he did not challenge the snake to come, but because the snake came from the enemy's camp, it was overcome. And I pray that God will give us such victory as long as we are in his dwelling, in his secret place. Hallelujah. Am I being heard? Amen. 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 They shall bear you up. Lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon li the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. I mean, these are things that happen every day. But we don't even see. That is why when somebody gives you a prophecy, I saw that you are going to be involved in an accident you start panicking. I've seen death coming towards your home. We start panicking. I've seen your business is collapsing. We start panicking. You know what? These are things the devil does every day, every time. I told you last week that as I was driving, I was just chatting in my heart. I was, okay, I was going for an all night. Last week, Friday, I was going to um, preach in an all night minister. And as I was going, that's the thought that was going through my mind, that if the devil had his way, all the cars in the, on this road, none of them will get to its destination. All of them will be involved in an accident, and the devil will spill blood, everybody's blood. But because children of God are on the road, and we have anointed the road before we step on it, it shall not happen. So when we hear prophecies, when we dream of the things the devil is doing, it is not new. If this is the first time you are going to dream after this ministration that somebody has shot you and you are dead, it is not the first time. God is only showing you one out of the trillion things that he does for you every second. Because before you take every, every step, the devil has already planted something. But you go and come and we take it for granted. But trust me, we are stepping, we are, we, we, let's, we, we are stepping on lions and cobras and all these things. People that you do people, the ever call it tupe, they are throwing it every now and then. But we go and we come and we even take it for granted. But because God is with us, we are still alive. Because He has set His love upon me, and therefore. I will deliver him. That is God's promise. As long as you dwell in a secret place, it means that your affection, everything is about him. So he says, I will deliver him. God says, he will deliver you. As long as you dwell in a secret place, he will deliver you. I will set him on high because he has known my name. So when the Bible says you are the tail and you are the head and not the tail, you understand. And that's exactly what God told me in 2019, and it happened. That I will make the world see that those who worship me truly can also reign here on earth. God will just hold your hand from the back and put you in leadership, and you'll be surprised. People may be qualified than you. People may be more experienced than you. But when God says he will do it, he breaks every protocol. He shall call upon me and I'll answer him. This is God speaking. So Jeremiah 33, 3, we shall call upon him, me, he shall call upon me and I'll answer him. I'll be with him in trouble. I'll deliver him and honor him. So somebody sang a song. Oh, 
Him, I will be with him in trouble and I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. I don't know your family circumstances. For some families, they say, oh, men don't cross a certain age. Women don't cross a certain age. But that is my bad case. Because the Bible is telling me that God is saying, because you have dwelt, you have, you have dwelt in a secret place, upon all the protection that he's going to give you, upon all the financial blessings, on all the earthly blessings that we crave for, he says, on top of all that, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Tonight, it is my prayer that if you have not given your all to God, if you have not sought him faithfully, if you have not dwelt in his secret place, it is my prayer that every... It is my prayer that whatever situation, whatever is holding you back, Whatever you are seeking for, for which reason you are not able to go to the dwelling place of the living God, what we call his secret place. Whatever the devil has done that has taken your commitment away, whatever lies in your family that is not enabling you to get closer to God. I pray as a servant of God and we join forces, all of us together, and by, the, by this reason of this anointing, May every such yoke be broken. And from tonight, Amen. may you move to the secret place and enjoy all the benefits that God has promised. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 I want us to Amen. pray shortly and then I'll pray for you all. So just begin to thank God. Just begin to thank God for his word and ask him to keep you closer to him and unleash all these blessings. 
Surely your promises are here and amen. And so we thank you, Lord. We bless you for your promises that are assured. For your mercy, for your grace, for feeding us and for reminding us of your promise once more. We pray that you break every weapon, you destroy every weapon, you break every chain. That works us in getting close to you. And we pray that you keep us in your secret place all the days, all the days of our lives. And all the blessings, the Abrahamic blessings, the Davidic blessings, the new covenant blessings. I pray, O oh Lord, that you unleash it all unto us. I pray, O oh Lord, that you will continue to be our God from long life, of protection, and everything, every blessing is Psalm 91 and in your word unleash unto us. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Stanley. Amen. Stanley. Amen. Covenant keeping oh, God. Stanley. Oh, sorry, not you. Stanley. Yes. Uh -huh. Stanley. Papa. No What's the name of your friend? Send the name to the... I can't keep the name. Send it to... I think she's the one with iPhone. So send it to the chat room. When I, got, I get to I can mention it. And Stanley, you are the first person on this. I'm praying with you. Send the name quickly and let me pray with you. Okay. Stanley, have you sent the name? Covenant yes, okay. not there. In the chat room, it's not there. You are the God of Abraham. Mm. You are the God of Isaac. Mm. Ah. You are the God of the God of Elijah. You answer us by fire. You are the God of the You are the covenant keeping God. And there is no one we sing covenant keeping God. There Okay, thank you. So you can send that song by yourself, but for now I'm praying in no order oh, well. I'm going according to the pictures I see here, the names I see here. So why did Stanley move back and then somebody took over? Uh, no, Stanley was there. Stanley, unmute yourself and let's pray. Stanley. Oh, please. Doug, please, I'm yes, here. Lord, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I soak you in the blood of the precious blood tonight. I pray that our Lord, who is a living God, who listens and answers by fire, will be your God. Amen. Even as you said, John, on the, on, 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 in a foreign land, 
I pray that the Lord will be with you. I pray that in your studies you will be the head and not the tail. Jesus I pray Lord. that job opportunities will open for you if before you Amen. graduate from your studies. I Amen. pray that God will hold you and hold your heart, that you will Amen. never be part from his world. Amen. That the things of the world will not be your passion. That Amen. it will be Lord, even as you say, John, in a Jesus. foreign land. But Amen. you will continue to draw that like Isaac, like Amen. Jacob, like Joseph, Amen. and Amen. the servant that God Amen. sent you to be. Amen. And this big pen that I see you holding yeah. is a sign of authority and power. Jeez. It is a sign that you hold an office, a big office, in the coming yeah. years. And I pray yeah. as the servant of the living God that the God who is showing this and may it not be your portion that Jesus. God will do search and search for you Jesus. and you will forget that he Jesus. took you as a married clay. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. I see your name being written in ink, Stanley. Somebody is inscribing your name, blue ink, and God has already positioned you somewhere. Amen. Somebody will come against that. Let's pray. Jesus. Father, I commit this big brother of mine into your hands. Amen. Before I knew him, he was your servant. Through the valleys and the mountains, he has not changed. He has still remained your faithful servant. And so, Father, tonight, I thank you for what you are doing. Hmm. And I bless you for removing the chains, for removing the handcuffs. Amen. Ah, for wiping the tears. Amen. And for restoring him. Amen. Father, wherever he stepped, whatever he did, that brought this situation. We come against it. Amen. And we pray for your favor, for your mercy your grace. Amen. May your reign never depart from his head and his family. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Mr. Zuma, I don't know, but um, God has just taken a hand off Amen. and his reign, his reign, his reign, his reign Amen. will continually be on your life. Amen. Sandra. Sandra. Daddy. Father, I bring this one before you. Mm. Hmm. I pray for your spirit of discernment to be his portion mm -hmm. in her struggles, Jesus. in her decision making, Jesus. in her quiet moments, Jesus. in her laughter. Yes, Behind which lies all the tears that nobody knows. Jesus. I pray that even as you reveal this to your servant, Jesus. you are causing her tears to dry up. Amen. And you are her God. Amen. I pray that you bring her helpers. Amen. I pray that you bring her helpers. I pray that you bring her helpers. And Amen. I pray, oh Lord. That above all, you be a help. Amen. I cast every spirit of weakness. Jesus. Ah. May this not be your portion, sister. Amen. That with all the dealings, your dealings and your work with God, Jesus. the devil will trap you and it will work perfectly. And people will point hands at you and say, see, upon all her administration, she's sleeping around. I cast this out in the name of Jesus. And I pray 
that the spirit of God will be your portion. Amen. This has been planned and this is going to happen not long from now. Jesus. He here, she's sleeping around and she thinks nobody knows. Jesus. But I come against this orchestration and this machination in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray that the spirit of God will embolden you and enable you to resist every temptation Amen. and stand for him. Amen. Because in his secret place, blessings will abound in your life. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for breaking this chain and for taking this shame. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Mm-hmm. This is this a Mrs. Amponza, Juanita. Hello. Father, I commit my wife into your hands. I commit her household into your hands. I pray for direction. I pray for your peace. I pray for your increase. I pray for your wisdom. I pray for your favor. Mm-hmm. I pray for direction, divine direction. Anywhere Miss Ambosa will get to and get confused, order her steps. Mm-hmm. Father, order her steps. Mm-hmm. Holy Spirit, order her steps. Let confusion not be a portion. And let mm-hmm. your anointing fall on mm-hmm. all her household. Jesus Amen. mighty name. Amen. Adam. I've said that of others, so I have to say it here. Else I'll be biased. <laughs> I see you walking on a path and you have got into a junction and your hand is in your mouth confused. But I pray against any spirit of confusion. Amen. And I pray. That in 2021, in 2022, in 2023, all the days of your life, oh. every spirit of confusion against you, against your husband, against your job, against your children, is nullified. And may the Holy Spirit hold your hand and lead you in Jesus' name. That could also mean that you do something that you regret at any certain time. You come against it in Jesus' mighty name. Juanita. Yes, so I'm here, please. Juanita, I hear this song by calling your name. Wa mama kuma tomiem. Wa mami so ma se bine. Eradi nyam yo ba tampe. Mini mi fie ni na da wa su. Ah, <laughs> 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 So I pray for you and your husband. I pray for your mother and your father. I pray for your household that whatever testimony that God is bringing your way, that is bringing this song, it is fulfilled, it is sealed by the blood of Jesus. Whatever testimony God is bringing your way for your family, for your husband, for your mother, for your father, for your generations, it is sealed in Jesus' name that whatever hand will rise against this, it is with it. That whatever tongue will rise against this, it is pronounced guilty already. That you shall hold on to your position and possess your positions. And this song will be May God give you a 24-hour miracle even as we pray. Amen. And whatever miracle needs time, a year by now, may we hear all that God has done. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Chris. Amen. 
Although I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. When you walk close to death, may God snatch you. When you are confused, may he give you peace. Like Isaac, you will dwell in your enemy's camp and still survive and succeed. Mm -hmm. May darkness be erased from your life. Jesus. May sorrow be erased from your life. Jesus. May the things of the past that has caused you pain begin to depart from you. Amen. Ah. And may God move you with the speed that I'm seeing, the, the speed of an aircraft. May God propel you and launch you into your destiny. Amen. Amen. May he hold you in Jesus' name. Mama Chris, the Chris are too. <laughs> I'm here to come to you. This is the young Chris. <laughs> Mama Pari. Uh, sorry. Uh, Opoku, uh, what do you call him? Yaboa. Bishop. May the living God continue to be your God. I can just see you looking at left and looking at right. There are decisions to be made. And sometimes you get so confused. Sometimes you are even looking at who is the real man of God and who is, not, who is the fake man of God. But tonight I pray that the living God will give you understanding. The living God will give you wisdom. I pray that the living God will be part of every decision that you make. And from tonight, every confusion spirit is departing. From tonight, God is giving you peace. From tonight, you wake up with ideas, with initiatives, and may the living God give you help, divine destiny helpers in all your initiatives so the living God will be testified through what he is doing for you. May he also send his angels to guide your wife Guard your wife and your ch your child, and may He protect everything that is for you in Jesus' mighty name. Priscilla, yes, Amen. yes, God. May God touch you. May God increase you. May God honor you. Amen. May every glory that has been taken away from you be restored tonight. You have Amen. a dream and you see that you are taking what belongs to you. May God Amen. bring back every glory that has been stolen from you. May God Amen. remove every covering from your life. May every darkness that moves so close with you be erased by the power of the living God. Amen. May Jesus mark you with his blood. May wow. sorrow be far from you. May hunger and anger, tears be far from you. May desperation be far from you Amen. from tonight. Huh. We see a restoration taking place. May God restore you Amen. and give you his peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'm Elizy. Yes, so I do. May this rain sweep over your family. Hmm. I see a gen gentle showers blowing, and the air is just directing it. May this gentle breeze be your portion. That of your husband, that of your children, yes. that of everyone close to you. Yes. May this gentle breeze blow through your workplace and bring sanity and bring joy and bring the spirit of cooperation and bring love between you and all that you work with. 
and may the devil's plan of an accident, car accident, mm. Mm. be thwarted and destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Because the Thank devil you. is saying a house is fortified. We can't get it. The, the devil is saying her workplace, her prayers are working there. We can't. Let's mm. send it to her, her car. But mm. we send angelic hosts to protect your car. The car that your husband is driving, the car yes. that your children are driving, yes. everybody associated yes. with you, we remove every spirit of accident. And we shall meet and thank God for all his blessings. I don't know how God will do this, but may this financial breakthrough be for your family. Mm. In Jesus' name. Mami, you see. Mami, you see. Yes, dog. So far. God is saying you hold a PhD not because you deserve it. Oh, yes. Or not because you were the best. But he yes. intentionally picked you and gave oh, you yes. this PhD. So God is saying, I should tell you that do not despair. He has done this for yeah. you, and it means there are many more he's going to do for you. And so I pray, I don't know, we've, we've not spoken for a long time, so I don't know what you are going through, you are going through. But God, I believe in the God who speaks to us. And I pray yeah. that he will minister himself unto you. That whatever yeah. causes you pain, whatever causes you to doubt, whatever causes unbelief in your life, God in his own mercy and kindness visits yeah. you, should visit yeah. you. Amen. And I see good things happening. And I know. Amen. The Bible says, and when the Lord turned away our captivity, we were like yes. those that dream. I pray yes. that you, 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 God is starting things in your life if you give your heart to him and trust in him Amen. fully. That your life will be like a dream. You always be like, is this happening? That our God has established it. And we Amen. It and be done. Jesus name. Amen. Mami Agnes, don't cry. God is with you. <laughs> Mami Agnes. Andere yama shada da dama. Mami Agnes. Mama Chris. Uh, probably she's muted. Yeah, yeah we are no friend. Yeah. Mami no mom, we are no friend. Yeah, okay. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your peace. God is just saying he has given you peace. And Amen. that peace will be for a long time. Amen. God has just established peace. And wherever you go, my peace will be with you. Amen. Whatever the situation is, watch me. My peace I have given you. People will not understand. People will think you don't act and you don't react. And they are doubting if you are okay. But that is the peace of God. It surpasses human understanding. And so I pray that even as he is giving you peace, may every earthly blessing that you desire come with the peace. And may your household be an example. May your children grow into the ministry and occupy seats here on earth while they serve the living God. Amen. May every ah, 
may every entanglement be broken from now. Amen. And may you hear God clearer than before. May you Amen. see him closer than before. And may his Amen. presence be with you, your husband, your mom, your children, your siblings, Amen. and all Amen. those associated with you. Jesus. Ah. Jesus mighty name. Amen. Mama Agnes. Let me see if I yeah. can unmute. Oh, I can't unmute yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. What's up, Michael? Bishop. Ah. Father. If not for anything he has done, just his heart is enough for you to bless him. So, Father, I pray, I call forth upon you by the mercies of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that you continue to move with your child. Amen. <laughs> I pray mm. that his deepest desires yes, are coming to pass. Yes, Lord. I pray yes, that his walk with you yes, Lord. is going to be stronger than yes. before. And in this 2021, every disaster that has been orchestrated against him, against his family, against it. Even the oldest people in his family will cross 2021. We shall not hear of death and we shall not hear of disaster. Father, I pray that you increase his anointing Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I see a hand giving you two fruits. Amen. May you take this and may it Amen. nourish you. Amen. I don't know the type of fruit. I, I don't know. I don't know his name. But fruit is good. In mm. dreams, in visions, fruit is good. And I don't think I was so crazy. Okay, Mama, can I do me? I was so Christopher. May you be nourished. So, Papa, I know now, Mike, no off. Oh, the after I want to make voice. I'm a tongue, I am on fire. Yeah, I need more than any real movie. I I am I Amen. I pray for you that Yes, yes. Amen.
Profesor Usuanza. Profesor Usuanza. Profesor Usuanza. Prof, you can't talk. Where is your family? Right, I see you typing. Father, I commit this my brother into your hands. Who do I commit his family? The wife and the children, the mom and the sibling. Mm -hmm. All loved ones, Father. Mm -hmm. I pray that you will be their covering. I pray. Ah. I pray that you will hold them. I pray that his career will blossom because you have planted him there. Mm -hmm. And I pray averting every disaster mm -hmm. in his family. Ah, I pray. Mm -hmm. Prof. you can't talk. Are you at work? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay, when we can we can talk, we, I give you a message. Because I see a child falling from a stairways, and I pray that that will not be any of your children, but God who set his angels in, those, in, in your house and protect everybody in that household. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You real? No, Ariana. Hello, Pastor. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Please. Right. Let's pray. Okay. Father, we bring your daughter into your hands. Commit her in your hands. And we pray that whatever she's going through, your angels will move with her. We pray, O oh Lord, that she will prevail against every situation and every circumstance. And I cast away every spirit of confusion in her life. Give her clarity of thought. Even her imaginations, in her imaginations, be with her, Lord. Give her victory. And Father, I pray that you, you erase every memory of her past that continues to hurt, hurt her. Everything about her past, every circumstance and situation that continues to give her pain, we pray. You are the only one who can do this. Erase it from her memory and fill her memory with joy. Fill her memory with things that you do. And oh Lord, continue. Be with her. Bless her even as she studies. And prepare her a future for her. Protect her family at home. And let her obtain the heights that you have set for her. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Ruby. Yes, so suffer. Madam. 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 Came at the mention of your name, be your pledge. May you say, as for me and my household, we shall continue to serve the living God, no matter what happens to you or your family. Because God is keeping you, God is keeping your family, and God will be your, your, your provider. 
So Amen. I pray that this pledge will be activated every day that you live. And I pray oh, that the peace of God that surpasses human understanding will be your portion. I pray that Psalm 91, every Amen. blessing therein will be your portion. Amen. And this year, may the desires of your heart Amen. come to fruition. Amen. And may your household rise. Amen. Give glory to the living God. Amen. 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 Edwina. Edwina. Hello, Reverend. Hey. Are you falling asleep? No. <laughs> My okay. screen was <laughs> Okay. Let's pray. Father, I commit my sister into your hands. You said it last year that she will leave the wheelchair and she left the wheelchair. And so we are trusting you that whatever is left, we cannot do it. Only you can restore. You created her and you are able and more than able to restore everything about her. The lame walk, the blind see. The woman with an issue of blood was delivered. This we know that you did it. And so we commit our sister into your hands. And from tonight, visit her. From tonight, let there be a miracle. Let there be a series of miracles in her life. Everything attests the fact that you are the only one who has sustained her. And so from tonight, O oh Lord, begin to cause miracles to happen. Amen. Every weakness in her body, take it, Lord. In the spiritual realms, reset everything that has been destroyed in her life. In the physical realms, let her come back to her past form. And we shall rise and give you the glory. Jesus mighty name. Amen. Uncle said. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Uncle said. I'm here doing your Yes, Doc. May the living God. Who saves by his own might save you and your family. May his love never depart from your household. And tonight, I stand in the gap as a watchman. Every eye in the darkness that is monitoring everything that you do from tonight, we pierce it. From tonight, we destroy every such eye. From tonight, we cause any force that has been sent to monitor everything about you and your family. We come against them and we crush them in the name of Jesus. Amen. May the living God set his angels to go with you before you and come with you. So do we declare in the life of your husband, your children, your mom, your siblings, and all loved ones. And may God use you to bring all of them into his fold. We thank the Lord for the victory and the power he has ordained in you tonight. He has ordained in you tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. Mm -hmm.
Uncle Seth. Amen. Sister Florence. What's up, mommy? To us, your glory, O oh Lord. To us, your glory, O Lord. Amen. Look, that is the song that the Lord is giving you. That's the song the Lord is giving you. And I pray that the dew of heaven will never depart from your house. Your generation and that of your children, may they experience this dew of heaven. May your latter be glorious, more glorious than your beginning. So to be established in your husband, in your careers, in your children, in your office, in even the people who encounter you and come to believe that there is a living God that you serve. May his latter day glory be your portion. May you receive life and receive it fully. May every disaster that has ever occurred never come near your household. Uh, I see you holding a sword that is authority and power. May God give you wisdom to use this power and authority to cast out demons, to cause deliverance to happen, and shout at every bad situation in your life. Amen. And we establish it done in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sophie. Mama Sarah. Mama Sarah. Reverend Joshua. Yes. Thank you for hosting us yesterday. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's pray. Father, I thank you for the life of my brother. He has committed himself to serve you. And so we pray that the heavens will be open for him. Wherever he stands from this time, let there be a strong move. Use him to do things that he has never done in your ministry. Even as you use us to do every now and then, use him to do more than even that what you have done before. Cause him to raise the dead. Cause him to bring back the dead to life. Cause him to cast out demons. Cause him to bring deliverance, healing to the sick. Cause him to bring peace to those who are disturbed, even in their mind. He's here and beyond, my God. Let him stand as your oracle. And when he ministers your word, let signs and wonders follow. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So far, no. Reverend. <laughs> I was thinking of you some time ago. Ah, when we started. Before you sleep, you you you, you pray with this song. Uye mami, uye mami. Uye mami, uye mami. Uye mami. Uye mami, yo. From this year, may God begin to direct you towards where He wants you to go. May your struggles be over. May God hand to you your ministry. May God hand to you 
your ministry. May God unto you. May God bring divine helpers into your life. May God bring destiny helpers into your life. May God cut away every evil prophet, every so-called man of God who has been sent to destroy your ministry, to destroy your anointing. May God cause them to flee away from you. May your accusers be silenced. May those who rise against you in the night, in the spiritual realms, because the, the anointing over your life, may God cast them down. May God destroy them. From tonight, may the outpouring of the Holy Spirit increase in your life. And may God give you a vision of where he wants you to be and what he wants you to do. A year by now, I'm declaring in faith that you will tell the world that this is where God took me from. And this is how far he has brought me. May God cause others to depend on you financially, spiritually, physically, because he's establishing you. And it done. Christ our Lord. When you stand, may God bring crowds to you because of the messages that he gives you and because of the signs and wonders that follow. A fire surround you and may this fire protect you in your ministry. And in your life, in Jesus' name. Amen. Mama Cynthia. Yes, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You heard it. Be the living God answer you when you cry. May He come to your aid when you call His name. He hold your offspring just as he has held you and your husband may he bring you business plans and ideas may your school be established as one of the best ever to be known may physical infrastructure spring up to the point that when you sit down and take a calculator to calculate, you will not understand mm. how you did it. Mm. May God use you to touch the world. Mm. And may he protect all these children under mm. your care. All these people you are administering. Jesus. And may God make your desires, your dreams come to pass. Amen. Not when you are gone, but may he do it in such a way that you and your husband will sit and declare to the younger generation that Amen. this was a dream and God brought it to light. Amen. May your strength be renewed every day. Amen. May your health be increased. Amen. And so do we declare in the life of your husband and your children. Thank you, Lord. And may every disaster that has been designed, crafted beautifully to surprise you in your school, may it be averted and be caused to be averted now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Easy. Pastor. Uncle. Yeah, bon I can't old it. Meaning so I was so dear, but obey the nicuno. Yeah, one more bomb. Odi. 
<laughs> Odi. Yes, sir. Mm. Hello? Yes, sir. Uh, is that necessary? May I drive no, with you? No, I don't have a bomb for you today. No problem. Yo. Father, we commit your servant into your hands. Ah. Father, strength and health, wealth, they belong to you. And so we declare that they are the portion of your servant. Ah. Your servant has no so many plans. So many things to do, but you are telling me he does not even know how it will, it will happen. But you have done it before. And so we cry unto you that because he has come to your secret place, give him the wisdom, give him the enablement, and let him accomplish every dream that he has. You are a time who, a God who created time but lives out, outside time. So age is not a matter to you, but you do what you want to do when you want to do it. And so I pray for your protection over your servant. And I pray that from tonight, you visit him and give him the ideas. You give him the plans to move and not long from today you bring testimonies we thank you Lord, for you have done it in Jesus mighty name amen amen, amen. Uh, Uncle Seth hey there. Uncle Seth I hear your network is oh uh, Last week we wanted to introduce you by network. Yes. Okay. So okay. let's pray. Okay. okay. And Jeffrey. Uh, last week there was word for you. I've forgotten. Your sister will tell you. There was word for you last week. Okay. But tonight we pray, Father. Amen. This is your own servant. Committed to your work and to service of your people. It's humility. So, Lord, we call for the heavens to open for him. Amen. Lord, we pray for strength. We pray for increase in spiritual giftings. We pray Amen. that whatever you said about him last week will manifest from this time on. In Jesus name. You said, oh, Lord, that he has plans, but you are going to bring surprises. Father, your surprise is always a joy. So whatever he has not been able to do, whatever gives him sleepless nights today, tonight, we pray, believing that what you have said is coming to pass. Tomorrow by this time, you will sit with joy knowing what you have begun in this life. And because of your word, we come against every weapon of the enemy against his life. This his, his marriage, his children, his company, everything about him, my God, protect it and give him testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Um, Mama Sarah, are you at work? Okay, yes, then sir. are you yes. at work? You are yes, at work. I am. Okay, yes. so we just pray for you. Just you can mute yourself. We we'll pray for you. Okay. Father, we commit your daughter into your hands. Amen. Your daughter who understands your work, your daughter who gives to 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 to, to, to support. The cause of your way. Your daughter who loves you in your beauty. Your daughter who trusts in you. Father, tonight we pray that your love will not depart from your household. 
he's committed husband, he committed siblings, committed children, committed associates, all love ones into your hands. That okay. even in this era, you continue to protect her. She has so many plans, my God, but you alone bring the thoughts of men to life. So be part of her decision making. Don't let her step aside from your glory. Oh, but yeah. be with her. Ah, I see you holding a lot of keys and shaking them. My God, let your victory be hers. Whatever key, key to prosperity, key to increase, key to ministry, whatever it is, my God, don't let the devil ever snatch this from her. The confidence with which she is holding it, it can only be you. So let your grace abound and let her hold dear whatever you have done for her. And we shall continue to glorify you. In Jesus' name that we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Don't Is there anybody so. left? I don't think so. So at this moment, I commit all our brethren who are not here. Some sisters are not here. Some prophets are not here. Some apostles are not here. Some brothers and sisters are not here. But we commit them into the hands of the living God. That whatever has kept them from being a part of a family tonight, it should be good things. It should be in service of God. It should be in service of humanity. But if any of them is in pain, if anybody of them is in confusion, if anybody of them is, is, is if any of them is in any situation that is not of God, we join forces and in this corporate anointing, we come against any such decisions. If any of them is not here because they could not even afford data, we come against such poverty, such hardship, and we reverse it in the name of Jesus. Father, if it's Amen. sickness, we overturn and restore their health in Jesus' name. Amen. Be with them. Be their God. Give them the strength of mind, strength of the spirit, the fortitude to withstand in these end times and use them all for your glory. And so, Lord, I commit your children gathered here into your hands. Tonight, you have fed us with your word. You have shared your word. You have, you, have, you, have, you have increased us in every way. So we pray that even as we depart, we are not departing from your glory. But let your glory, let your grace be our portion. Protect, continue to protect us throughout the week. Grace and standard for us that the enemy cannot reach. Bring us divine connections. And everywhere we step, use us for your glory. And we shall converge again. Ah. I see a bridge breaking. I see a bridge breaking. And I hear America. So we pray against any disaster in the land of America. Father, we come against any plan of the enemy. Every disaster that is being planned, Father, we don't accept it because it is not your plan. We reverse any said decision and we cause confusion against people in the underground who are meeting. And I see, see somebody signing. See. People have just met to cause mayhem. And somebody, a top person, has just signed it. But we come against them. May their signatures catch fire. May their meetings be involved with, 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 with confusion. Father, we establish the land of America and all nations of the world. And we commit them in your hands. Let your peace prevail and let the world know. There are so many disasters ahead. So many. Not only in America. There are so many disasters. But Lord, this is not of you. We come against any plane crash. We come against any war. Any war, my God. It will not happen. We come yes. against any war. Mm. Father, let your peace prevail. 
Oh, Jesus. And let your work be done. Mm. And protect us. Hold us. And be with us. Let your angels be at work. Ah, for Jesus. the sake of the mm. saints. Mm. Thank you, Lord. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Surely, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of the day. Amen. Okay. God bless you. Amen. So, uh, Mama Lizzie, I'm sorry. First of all, I'm sorry to everybody that we have kept this long. You know, lately okay. we have been doing things on time, but when the spirit leaves, it's difficult for us to. Uh, not obey. Uh, we have never had an opportunity where we pray for individuals like this, but as the Spirit led, I had to. So forgive me. We have gone so far. It's not more forgiveness. The time. It's half the night. No, people, people are at work and all that, so I need to. Okay. And, okay. Uh, but you, those of us who understand the things of the Spirit, you know, I'm tired. I wake up very early, but I still have to do this. Um, Edwina. Edwina. Hello, my friend. Yes, I guess you have a word for us. Oh, Ruby. Yes. Uh huh. Your music. Okay, Edwina, please. Let's give Edwina one minute. I just want to thank everybody for their contributions made to us. To me, I'm very grateful. May God bless each one of you. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. Amen. Okay. I was reading what you have shared in the in the in the in the chat room. Right. So God bless all of us who were able to contribute our widow's might towards our sister's cause. And um, I visited her with my family yesterday, and Reverend Joshua. And uh, she thought we had come to her neighborhood and coming to her. But I told her, God instructed us, and you people have sent me. And uh, it, was, it was a mix of emotions, but that's what Christianity is about. So five families, five different families, um, and three individuals uh, came to her course, and we thank God so much. Now, if anything will follow, uh, that's okay. But uh, we have done as the Holy Spirit instructed. So God bless you all. And uh, we have a sister who has been with us for the first time. Mami Priscilla. Hello. Yeah. She, she's my own daughter and we are so close people thought she was my girlfriend when I didn't even know people were thinking that way but it's fine and our big brother <laughs> our big brother Uncle Seth has also joined us today. He, joined, he joined yesterday but the internet was bad at his place uh, he's a brother to sister Sarah who has always been with us um, up there recording.